All right. Uh, welcome to the Yard Suite, Suite, everybody. Um, this is my first concert since March, so it's really nice to be here. I'd like to say a big thank you to the Yardbird Suite for putting this series on. Um, it's really helpful for the local scene, uh, both as a listener and as a uh, as a performer. So, uh, just reading some of the comments here. Thank you, Vadim, and thank you, Sam. Uh, appreciate it. Um, so yes, it's very great to be here. I'm happy to be playing this show, and really uh, thankful for everybody who's watching. Um, so a big thank you to Nico for doing sound as well, and to the Arbor Street for having this. Uh, I'd like to, right now I'd like to acknowledge that we're on, uh, I'm performing on Treaty 6 territory, which is the traditional gathering grounds of the Blackfoot, Plains Cree, Sutina, Métis, and Cree peoples. Um, music has been happening here for thousands and thousands of years, and to put that in perspective a bit, the Yardbird Suite's been presenting music for 63, I've been playing for 38, and so percentage-wise, it's a fraction of a percent, and so it's quite, uh, quite something uh, how long there's been cultural activity on this land, and so it's humbling to play here. Um, the music that I'm playing tonight is uh, compositions of mine, other pieces that I play in projects in Edmonton, and, uh, and some improvisations. So the first piece I started out with was called Baseline. Uh, we played that here in February with the Mark Seger Sextet for the CD release. And um, so I'm going to play one more uh, piece that the Mark Seger Sextet plays as the next, uh, the next piece that, that comes up. I'm going to do some improv improvising first. And um, the next piece is called Dots. It uh, has many, many different versions. This one hasn't been heard yet. Um, the version on the CD is a minute and 30 seconds long. Uh, there's a live version that takes a little bit longer. Uh, there's more improvising. It's quite a different version. I do a version with uh, Mark Seger Quartet in Edmonton that is more of a jazz, uh, a jazz vibe. And then uh, Peter Zwalski, actually, a great local guitarist, played uh, the piece on his recent Yardbird Suite series gig, so you could check that out in the archives. It was, it was about two months ago, and it was a really good show. Um, so the one I'm going to play tonight is uh, I've had a bass line, a really long bass line, written for the piece that's been sitting in my computer in the uh, file archives for a very long time, and it has never come out on stage, so I thought tonight would be a good opportunity to bring that out. I'm going to play along with that and uh, and perform the piece Dots.
Ah, thank you very much. Great seeing the comments here. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> uh, thanks, Patrick. Um, so that was that was dots. Uh, as you have likely noticed, these um, sounds that I'm playing along with are from a synthesizer. One of the first things I did when uh, everything shut down in March was buy myself an analog synthesizer because um, I've been thinking about it for years. Always wanted to uh, have a chance to experiment with it, and I hadn't. And so, not being able to leave the house um, was a good, a good opportunity to do that. So, um, so for this show, I thought it would be appropriate to involve some of the activities I've been doing uh, for the last five months when I haven't been performing. Um, so, in the next piece, I um, I did a lot more experimenting with knobs and switches and. Uh, um, just over a an ostinato a drum set, a drum solo ostinato in one of the projects I'm in in town, which is with uh, Nico Arneas, who's doing sound, and uh, I'll give him another hand for doing really good sound. It sounds great up here, and I'm sure it sounds really good online. Um, and he is also a great bass player, a very creative musician. So um, I'm in a group with him and Will Northwick Redmond, called Black Oat Over Rio. And uh, so the next piece I'm going to play is a tune of Will's called Mitt Joint. And uh, I just extracted the drum solo and have um, put it through the synthesizer, improvised with the knobs. And now I'm going to improvise with that. Also, thank you, Carson and Sam. Glad you guys are watching. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Dan. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Debbie. Um, really nice that everybody's watching, having a great time up here. Um, the next piece I'm going to do is also a um, to do with a group that I'm in in town. I'm in another group here called the Damn Magpies. So this next piece is dedicated to the Damn Magpies. It is um, a group of uh, myself, Scott Smallwood, Ian Crutchley, Alison Bolchettis, Shanoa Anderson, and Jane Berry. And uh, we recently, it's one of the groups that I've done a, um, a lockdown project with and uh, facilitated by Jerry Morita with Mile Zero Dance. So they did a magpie parade and are making a music video of it. Um, I haven't seen the video yet, really excited, so it's something to keep an eye out for. Look out on the Mile, Dance, Mile Zero Dance page. Um, but the way we did it was uh, each of us recorded our own part and then layered them over top. And drawing randomly, I went first. And um, so I actually didn't get to hear what happened until the whole thing was done, and it was really, really exciting. Happy with how the project turned out, and I can't wait to hear it. Um, along with the video. But um, so for this, I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with what I played on that, and then I'm going to take flight. And this is a snare drum solo.
All right. Thank you. Um, so we're at the point in the evening. I'm going to uh, say thank you very much again to the Yardbird for having me. And uh, thank you to everybody who's watching online. It's really great to see all the comments. Um, another, um, I'm going to invite up uh, Shima Robinson, AKA Dwenemin, to join me on the next piece. Uh, she is somebody who I very much respect in town, the work that she does here. And uh, if you haven't heard of her before, I would highly recommend checking her out. It's, um, I'm very fortunate to um, be, I feel very fortunate to play with her. And uh, she is, uh, has a project called Bello that Dan Magpies are involved with. Um, we did one recording session before everything shut down and we're set to uh, do a year's worth basically. So we're very excited about that. And uh, so I'm really happy that she's able to join me tonight. And we're going to do a, uh, a duo, a um, poem of hers entitled Landing. There is a place in my heart that has been too painful to mention. A known rule from home, it will moan to me as I speak to you in tone. On the edge of the threshold where the water is cursed, doors closed on the heads of the damned near immersed in the swelter of the scene of the blister unburst, the chattel of fell design concealed glints of sunburst. Thrust their bodies into the abandon of would-be truths denied, abused, discarded, and decried, bound in the bloodthirsty roiling of a continental lie, saw their ancestors fly into the storm of their own shuttering eyes, concealing the heat of ore in rage red smolder, groaning in its warp, they kept the calm of resign and the passion of rebellion, giving nuclei to atomic creations, coaxing bone memory from Atlantic skeletons, the seat of the souls of nations risen in the form of children born only to die. Living on a blandished, blanched lie, there's gone the heat of the cauldron of seer and hiss. We drink deeply now down to our bones and by the dint in our wrists turn the gestures of livelihood into signs of a stylish diss. Smiling with teeth made of enamel formed in molten armor of our ancestors' marrow, whose captive entanglement was chained to the vile, sonorant lie of a low origin in the burr brambles of mere moment upon moment upon moment upon moment until it became time for us to realize that we are the stolen who found a home with an open stride. In the rise of distant tides that call our eyes to dizzying rounds that allow the scope and breadth for the drumming up of a calculated guess of what made that message we acknowledge with that fondness on our lips and caution in our fingertips. Each time another rebel bleeds hello, smiling through Redden's teeth to keep hell beneath us, questioning its realness for the dignity of myriad uttered curses administered as curatives pulled from the sticks we've managed to pull from the onslaught to remind us of the customs that made us save the world we brought from the tutelage of our mother's uterine nurture. Her voice is reverberating through the fluid purpose turned to wind as we raise our blessed heads to the din of industry and the sordid contortions of our love of land. Her molten tones that consumed all of our bronze arrogance and smelted our iron metal to be folded into the alchemy of our older luster that cloaks our newer customs until we clustered our complaints at the footsteps of our elders and wept for their remembrance for we had grown to know what they had been told to name as golden 
the solstice, the passage of seasons, and the landing of our feet from Ari distant to the fume of cooling pits that keep fire in the winter and charcoal in the springtime, heat flung of a hearthstone that spits so we could bask in their back raised brazen protective rage chasing the minions of the masters of none over the cliffs of our gods who eschew the words that some of us now use for them and reduce our slavery and enemies to lovable earth petrified in its birth nurtured by our thirst we seek water and curse what errors in our hearts recalling the cold stainless tap of the metronome of lack our benefactor drinking deeply of disaster to decipher its craft and unmake its math even as it leaves us running over broken land tongues uncracked my proud heaving chest my eyes my yes man behest less agreement than imperative pressure my sachet and salute to the way my mother still walks defiantly past the tyrant screams built into the dreams of every immigrant queen of every common castle built with uncommon hustle lunging toward the affront of danger with billow and blaze that burn lasting warning into her children who gather and round them to back down disaster at the sound of her grave deepening laughter that buried fable to the rafters time and time again built this friend so for my first friend so I'll follow in her footsteps and track those of our people further back than the unholy steeple and the blasphemous flail. I'm a child of a war, a lover of raw strength, worked into supple sound. The voices in the round that are guided by stars and ruled only by a broken conch that lost the whale of the ocean in launch that I crested its foam and froth over the wrath of our brutal crossing that cannot stop and sing another echo into the ears of the desperate bent over their own withdrawn affluence starved for the sound of landing passage that will summon marrow to mourn in the birth of new words for known that can have us all speak new words for home.